got to get on with it. And uh, we're going to start with Den, my lovely Den. Dragon's Den, get us underway, please. Graham, I'd just like to say sincerely, I'm really going to miss you. Well, that's what I'd like to say anyway. <laughs> Good luck, Graham. 15,000. We'll go for lucky seven, Paul. Ten there. <laughs> Kirsty, my love, can you open this box for me and please, please make this one blue. I'll try, Graham. James, crack on. All the best, mate. 50,000. Now, this is amazing after yesterday's game, which was one of the most powerful starts we've ever had. You don't seem to be able to get away from the Reds. Oh, dear. Be as well going for unlucky 13 and we'll get the 250,000 out of the way. Stephen, please open box 13. Ralph, well, it's uh, a blue for you, Glenn. Yeah! Yeah, Stephen, thank you very much. I needed that. Wow. That is. Uh... Just how unlucky I am, actually. Oh, no, don't do that. Yeah, I am, I am. I, I, I would say, I mean, I could tell you stories that would prove how unlucky I am. This is the luckiest thing to happen to me, so we're going to aim for that. And, uh This is Catherine. This is Catherine, yeah. She's the luckiest thing that's ever happened yeah. to you. Yeah. But generally speaking, you're an un unlucky person. I am, honest, I am. An I'm not looking for sympathy in any way. I am an unlucky person. I'll very quickly tell you, uh, I smashed <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to bore you, sorry. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, we feel sorry for you. Your tactic might be working. <gasps> Thank you. He's not the most unlucky person in the world. Catherine is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he dies lots of times when he's asleep. He is your biggest fan. OK. He kept saying that. He wants me to pass that on as a sincere message. And um, he certainly worries about your welfare. And he sounded very sincere. He just hopes you don't fall asleep um, <laughs> and then stop breathing. And the opening offer is £6,000 plus a mug of hot milk. <laughs> £6,000 is your opening offer. Yeah, well, even without asking anyone else, you can ask me the question. No. OK. The opening offer of £6,000. Deal or no deal? Would you like to see someone leave the chair on the first offer? Your prerogative. No deal. Thank you. Right, right, now that I've fooled the banker into thinking that I'm the unluckiest guy in the world, I just want to tell you that the next six boxes will all be blue. Yeah. Joe, number 17, please. Thank you, Joe. The first of the blue run. I hope it's blue, Graham. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Still a quarter million in play. It's the one that's there. Yep. It's in box 22. Craig, thank you very much for opening this box and definitely, definitely making us applaud the colour. I think it's 
Lucy Graham. Good Thanks, luck. Craig. Okay. Are you feeling oh, yeah. luckier? Of course I am. Yeah? You're not exuding much. I want to exude as much as I can now, and we'll take out Jeff with number five. And Jeff? this will be... Best of luck, you, sir. Jeff? Do you know what happens now? It's a break. Yes, it's a little bit more important than that, Jeff. It's an opportunity for Graham here. Just have a little bit of a nap. To come, to come back after the nap, and we'll see if he's still alive. <laughs> Hi, I'm Craig from the West Wing. These three boxes contain two thousand, three thousand, and ten thousand pounds, and you could win what's inside the box opened at the end of today's show. To enter, just call 09013. We are where we are. A stark contrast to yesterday with Kev. But the quarter million is still in play. It could be here in box 22. We have a fallback of 20,000 and 35,000. And I don't know what else to say to you to make you more positive. I think it's all on you, Jeff. We need that blue to pick his spirits up a bit. I'll do the best I can for you. OK. How do you feel? That's better. Isn't that better? Yeah. Hello. He wants you to think about this offer very, very carefully. Are you ready to hear it? Yes. £8,000. Ooh, interesting reaction. <laughs> it may feel a low amount of money, Graham, but he's really testing you at £8,000, bearing in mind where we are after that pretty disastrous beginning. £8,000 is a very respectable offer. What does it do for you? It, it does nothing for me at the moment because I know where my game is and that's what he says. You notice that I've got the metal to carry on. He realises my ambitions to have that 250,000. But OK, you can ask me the question. £8,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> right, then. Business. Go on then, Pauline. You smiled there just as I looked at you. Come on, Pauline. We need an all blue round. Give us the first one, please. Yes. <laughs> Focus. Think about it. Casey. Second all blue, please. Sarah, go for it. Sarah, away you go. Complete the all blue round. Yes! <laughs> Thank you for your support so far. We're just going to keep on doing this. And what if we're left with one, two, three, four, five, six blues. The Hang reds, on. reds. Hang on, reds. we've got cackling ends over here. What are you all laughing at? You've got to be careful when you turn around quickly. Oh, I say. It doesn't go that high, does it? It does. <laughs> Cheeky. Luckily, I didn't see that. <laughs> I've never thought it's been that high. 
Hello. <laughs> okay, things are looking up. <laughs> <laughs> now, seriously, he is offering you fourteen thousand pounds. Again, a very, very good offer. You've created a one-box game, Graham. The reward at the moment is £14,000, but it is a one-box game. Discover the quarter of a million and you'll be chasing the money. You know I'm going to carry on playing, don't you? Yeah. Are you ready for the question? I'm ready for the question, no. £14,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. Now, an all blue round. Janine, you're wearing blue, we'll go for three, and yet another blue. I hope it's a blue game. 3,000. Fine. <laughs> I smell that one blue, Belinda. Go for that one. <laughs> I smell blue. Yes? Yeah. Four. He Belinda. smells blue in box four, Belinda. I hope it is. Good luck, Graham. <gasps> well, that's a stinker. 35,000. <laughs> Your sense of smell is a little awry. Now, this is spectacularly a one-box game. Yep. I think you're going to be a big winner despite yourself. Come back after the break. Find out whether I'm right or wrong. You'll be back. <laughs> Welcome back to Ramsgate. Most unusual situation. The Pilgrims are with him. West Wing, East Wing with him. We have a one-box game. I'll still stick with what I was going to do with Derek number 12. OK, Derek, can you keep us in the game, keep the belief alive? Blue. Blue. Dozen good wishes. Blue. 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 OK. Blue. All right. That's all right. Blue. Hello. Oh, I like it when you don't like it. This is interesting. This is very interesting, and it's going to give you a problem. His problem in games like this is there isn't enough there to give you something really large as an offer to guarantee you'll go. But it is a psychological offer because it's right up there on the board. It's 20,000. <laughs> Twenty thousand. Now he plays a few tactics. This year he's been very successful with twenty-six thousand as a nice exit fee, and also the tactic of putting an offer in that is also a box content. Twenty thousand pounds. Well, the next thing I'll say to the banker, maybe he'll throw my back on this one, but he probably won't, is my second offer that I was going to accept was 21,000. <laughs> Hello. Uh, if 21 was the second, what was the third offer? The third offer was 31,000. Now, you could be on the edge of something here. He's increased the offer. He's now offering you for box 22 that could contain a quarter of a million pounds, the 21,000 pounds that your fiance would be happy with. 
It's playing with your mind. That's all right. He's expected to do that, isn't he? Yep. I think you can ask me the question. Twenty-one thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? At this point, I'm going to say sorry to Catherine. <laughs> and it's no deal. Right. If we can get to the next call with 20,000 and 250,000 still in play, the power in this game is going to swing in your favour, Graham. Right, so, where are we going? Sha uh, number 15. OK. Fingers crossed. Yeah. 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 Oh, you stirred up some emotions when you said no deal. I so much want you to be right, Graham. I really do. It's looking like you, PJ. OK, PJ. Keep him right. Keep focused. We're not there. No, we're going for Lynn with number 20. Okay, this is either going to be a scream or the most massive groan. Keep us going, Lynn. Ryan. Keep him going. I hope. <laughs> I'll, you just keep doing what you're doing and I'll do what I do. Hello. He's just said it's the easiest offer he's ever had to make. Graham, do you know why he said it's the easiest offer he's ever had to make? When you said your second was 21. What did you say your third was? 31. Yeah, you gave him the clue. I tend to forget what to think before I say. Yeah, I knew it would be around about 30,000, 31,000. You're wrong, it's 41,000. <laughs> I don't want to spoil your one opportunity to play yeah. this game. Yeah, yeah. But my role is just to remind you, Graham, you were quite happy with 21,000 a few moments ago. And actually, you thought the offer was going to be 31,000. Yeah. You were out by a big margin, Graham. 41,000 is serious money. Ask me the question, Norm. £41,000. Deal or no deal? No. You could certainly hear the proverbial pin drop. We want you to be successful, Graham. We really do. Sorry. I've got to ask you to open this box. Alison, oh. can you open box number 10 for me and reveal okay. 500 pounds? Yeah. He called himself the unluckiest man in the world. Please don't prove he is.
Ça va? I'm going to make you eat your hat if that's anything but. <laughs> I just wish you Please wish, open it. I wish you so much luck. Anything but. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Okay. Okay, nice with the gym, mate. Yeah. Nice with the gym. Thanks for all that. That one? Yes, no, we're opening box 16. 16. With Peter. 16, OK. You turned down £41,000 and stunned everybody. It's anything but. You simply mustn't have it there, Peter. Good luck, mate. I hope I've done the right thing for you. <laughs> You're not. You're the luckiest man in the world. You're not. <laughs> you started off saying you're the unluckiest man in the world. You've had a life. Graham, you've buried it. You've buried it. You stunned us all by going on, but you were the right, right person. <coughs> you made the right decision. You okay? one of the most stupendous games in the history of Deal or No Deal. Graham, this could be the most important phone call you've ever, ever received. Oh, Graham. Ooh, yellow. game with Morris. Fantastic guy. Yeah. And he believed he was going to be our first ever quarter millionaire. And of course, Laura has won the quarter million. But as a mark of respect to you, Graham, for the bravery of declining 41,000, he's going to give you now the same offer that Morris had and incidentally declined. One hundred and one thousand pounds. Yeah! You should put that offer in the context that Morris had a fallback of twenty thousand. So it's five thousand pounds. One hundred and one thousand pounds or a quarter of a million pounds that can now enter your life. Self-belief is that I've got 22,000, 22,000. Box 22 has got 250,000 in it. That's a self-belief. But until you open that box, the 101,000 is real money that I am about to uh, give you an answer. Do it any second you ask me. One hundred and one thousand pounds. Deal or no deal?
pains me to say this, believe it or not, but deal. Thanks when we find out. Yeah. It pains you to take £101,000. <laughs> we feel your pain with you, Graham. 101000 is safe. You still have total belief the quarter of a million is here. I'll tell you something, Graham. You are a very difficult person to read. The sheer scale of the emotion you showed a few moments ago was. Fascinating, endearing, and I'm just wondering what emotion you're going to show if you've squandered the chance to have a quarter of a million, or you've done something extraordinarily clever and sold a 5,000 box for 101,000 pounds. That would be clever. And here comes the truth. the unluckiest man in the world now. Thanks, Noel. Thank you very hey. much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Banker. Colin, welcome to the game. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you. Could you please open box eight and show us where the biggie is? With the greatest of pleasure. Good luck. <laughs> 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 Two days running, we've had quite extraordinary games. Kev yesterday, they had this brilliant start, then the massive crash, then the recovery. I mean, it was just brilliant. And now we've had this situation. And, Graham, I tell you something, you've got to thank everybody here. Because there was a point, and don't argue with me, because I saw it, <laughs> there was a point where you were a broken man and we were all carrying you along, and then it took over and you did a most extraordinarily brave thing to turn down £41,000. And I really, really applaud you for that because your self-belief came shining through and at the key moment, you knew when to stop Yeah. because 22 isn't quite as lucky as you'd like it to be. But bearing in mind, you described yourself on this show as the unluckiest man in the world. <laughs> it's all changed. <laughs> Graham, one hundred and one thousand pounds. I wish you all possible success when we get married. Thanks for that. All possible success. Oh, oh! Would you have gone at forty-one thousand? I would have done. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think most people would have done. Uh, you are. James. James, we have two thousand, three thousand, and ten thousand pounds in these boxes. It's your honour now to select. Uh, box one. Box one for somebody watching. I do hope it's going to be big money. Fight your way in. Go on, claw. Yes! <laughs> 10,000. Well Did you open the other two, please? <laughs> Three was there, two was there. Hey, enjoy your 10,000. Oh, the banker has really paid out on this Friday. Enjoy your money. 101,000. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And the thing I adore about that game, he was seriously unsettled. Maybe broken is a little bit of an exaggeration, but it was the atmosphere here that carried him on. And then, oh, thank goodness he knew when to stop. One hundred and one thousand pounds, and next week he gets married. That's quite a gift, isn't it? I'll see you on Sunday, and hopefully we'll make more dreams come true. Do be part of it. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.